All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Howl Farms. Today is going to be step two of the antler mount process. All right, so step two is going to be working on the board. Now, this is a three quarter inch by five and a half inch piece of pine board. Uh, and the tools that we're going to need today are going to be a pair of gloves. These are Mechanics Wear Fast Fit. I'll link them down below. I love these gloves. They're easy to take on and off. Uh, you need a one pound propane bottle or you can use a 20 pound if you have one of those. A Some kind of torch. This is a Benzomatic torch adapter, which I'll link it down below as well. Some boiled linseed oil, also be linked down below. And a rag just to wipe it on and off. Uh, if you haven't seen part one of this video, Go ahead and check it out. I'll link it above right now. Uh, so let's get to it. What I did, which you can cut these any length you want. I just used mine. I've been cutting them the same length. This is 15 inches. To me, this is just a good length board. I don't know why I picked 15 inches. I've done them all the same since I started day one doing this. I don't know. I just like it. It hangs well. To me, it's just a good length. It looks good. I thought about you putting a picture or a nameplate, something down here. You can always add that to it later as well. Uh, next thing you're new is once you cut this 15 inches, I'm going to do two of them. We have the antlers we prepped on video one, and I have this other antler that I prepped last year and never got around the mountain. My dad shot this one, so I'm going to mount it up for him as well. Uh, cut your board at 15 inches and then cut some scrap pieces. Uh, also, when you cut the scrap piece, cut a little indention. This is going to be where you're hanging on the wall. The nail will catch it. Uh, like this right here, it's got an indent on it and it hangs really well on it. So if it's not broke, why change it? I don't want any other hardware than this, the wood. So when it's hanging on the wall, all you see is the wood. So that's how I used to mount on the plywood board. I will go get the other one off the wall in the house that I'll show you that we're going to do this one, but it's up really high and I have to get a ladder and I don't want to do that. So the kid that shot that buck, I showed him some different samples of what I've done and he said he wants a dark color board. So step one of the process, we are going to put on our gloves because we're about to burn this board and I don't want to grab a hot board without gloves on. Step two, going to light our torch. Now that our torch is lit, we're going to burn this. So we don't want to burn it too hard or too long because we don't make it black. So we're just going to kind of take the torch and go down it and you see how it's changing colors. Try not to hold it too long in one spot. Just kind of go up and down making passes. Give some character to the board. Then we turn the we turn it on. And we put the boiled linseed oil on it, which the knot you have to go a little longer to make it kind of brown up. But I love this technique. I like to do it a little softer and not as dark as this. But the young man said he wants this dark. So this one we're gonna do dark. The other one I'll show you we're gonna lightly do it, and it comes out really well. Try not to be careful on the edges because you can actually burn the edges a little darker than the rest of it. So do all sides. It's a good thing I'm doing both these different ways so we can show you the different examples. Uh, this one is going to be a darker one. The other one's going to be lighter. And the good thing is you got two sides of the board. So Say if you burn one side and you mess up, I get a hot spot, I'm going to use the other side. So say I stop right here and it gets hot. Well, man, that's going to leave a black spot darker than the rest of it. Well, it's okay. Just take your time on the other side of the board. Make this the back. Ain't nobody going to see this side, so I'm just burning it to keep it looking good. If somebody were to take it down and walk around with it, just kind of going the extra mile. But this pine board is relatively cheap, so if you mess up and say you don't like it, you can always go buy more and redo it. Uh, 
All right, I like this side a little better. I like that knot right there. It gives it some good character. But he wants it dark, so I'm gonna go over a little more, try to make it a little darker. Try not to stop in one place because it will leave a black spot. Like right there, I left a black spot, but it's okay, I'm about to darken it up. So the longer you leave it on there, the darker it gets. So if you got a spot that needs a little darker, just go back over it. If you got a spot that's too light, go back over it. If you got a spot that's too dark, don't go back over it. Try to go around it and go, you know, make the rest of it darker. But there you go. I like the way that's turning out right there. So that's the dark version. He wants it dark, so that's what we're going to do. So we're going to let this one sit. Now this next one, my dad's probably not going to actually put it on his wall. So I'm going to hang it on my wall in my house, I believe. Yeah, let's do it like this. This is going to be, antler's, antler's going to be about right here. So this is the one I'm going to demonstrate you a little better technique that I like to do. We're going to kind of lightly do this one. Trying to get the speed. There we go. Like I said, just go up and down in nice even strokes. Try not to hold it in one spot too long. Get a better grip on my bottle here. The knot, we kind of got to go around the knot a little bit. He did a, oh, I went a little dark, but it'll be all right. It'll, it'll come out okay when I, we put that boil of linseed oil on it. It's going to make it a nice golden brown. All right. That's a little lighter than the other one. So now we're going to go around the edges. Just burn it all. This is some kind of like Japanese treating of the pine wood. I'll have to give you the actual details in the description. I can't remember the name of this. But it comes out turning beautiful. So that's why I chose to do this over buying like a placard board i'm not really into the the deer mount boards i don't know just there's no texture to it it don't look natural i don't know so i looked this method up i've been doing it ever since and they look great i used to do that and then i kind of got tired of the, the way the pallet board looks so i wanted to do something else and i ran out of pallet wood and all i had was some pines so that's another reason i tried it So now that we got them, which they're not much different. This one's a little darker than this one, but when we actually put the boiled linseed oil on it, it's gonna make a big difference. So put your torch to the side. We're no longer gonna need gloves. Well, let me grab a pair of rubber gloves. All right, got my gloves. Let me put my gloves on. You don't have to wear gloves, but I'm going to because I don't wanna get this boiled linseed oil on my hands. So get your gloves on. Get your rag. It does not have to be clean. Just make sure it's not got like motor oil on it. You don't want to rub motor oil on this. Shake my boiled linseed oil up. Let's start with the darker one because we're going to put a little heavier coat of the boiled linseed oil on this dark one. We want it to come out like a nice brown color. Open your bottle. I haven't opened this in a while. Let's put a pair of pliers on it. grief it's fighting me it won't come open there we go let's close it back up let's shake it really good because I haven't used this in a while I hate for all the It'd be separated or something. So shake it up really good. Pop it open. Like I said, if you don't have any of this, I'll add a link down below. You can order it. It's relatively cheap. 
fold your rag over, get some on there. And now this is a nice golden brown. So take your board, just rub it on there. It's going to seal and protect this board. It does smell pretty vicious, so make sure you're in a well ventilated area. Get some more. And this one I'm gonna make pretty dark, so I got it pretty saturated. And I'm just gonna rub, 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 rub. Man, is that some pretty looking wood right there. Once you see your board's getting dry and it's not soaking up anymore, pour some more on there. Just rub it on. Pick some stuff up off the table. But make sure you get all the corners, top, bottom, side to side, up and down the whole nine yards. Just get it covered in it. But I'm telling you guys, this is this stuff turns out beautiful. So that's the darker one. Let me see how it looks on camera for you guys. That's the dark one. Look how good that looks. Man, that is just some good looking pine board right there. We're gonna set this one aside and let it dry. So let me move it over here, out of the way on my other workbench so it can dry. Now, we're gonna take the one that's not burned so much. We're gonna just gonna do a light coat on it. I don't want it to be hot and heavy. I just want it to be kind of light, just enough to seal it. So I put a little on here, but I'm not gonna do a lot. Just enough to seal it. Man, I can't wait for this kid to see this. And I'm not gonna release these videos until I'm done because I want him, he watches the videos and his parents watch them and show it to him and I, I'd rather him see this in person than see it on the internet. So I'm gonna make sure I actually give it to him before I release these videos. Because I would hate for somebody to surprise me with something and I found it on the internet first. That's, that's not real fun. You know, everything that gets put out on Facebook before it does in real life. Before you find out from your friends or something, you done read it on Facebook or something happened to somebody, somebody's mama died or something. And before you get a no from them, you read it on Facebook. And I just, I just don't think that's right. So, this one's just a little light coat. And it don't get near as dark. And that's how I wanted this one. I didn't want it real dark because I'm hanging up in my house. Because I did my other dad, I did my dad's other mount, and he never hung it up. So, ain't no sense in me going through the trouble of doing this if he ain't gonna hang it up. So, I'm just gonna hang it at my house, say everybody, tell everybody my daddy shot it. So, all right. Now, let's look at the two boards. Oh, we got these little pieces next. Treat your little pieces. Now, no one's gonna see the front of it. So, what I'm gonna do is just burn the side of them. Well, let's just do it. Let's just burn the whole thing. It'll be alright. It don't take but a minute. Guys, this is, this don't take no time. Super easy. Anybody can do it. There's no right or wrong way. There's no, well, I did that one too much. Man, just keep on going. It's all going to add character to the board. You can brag and say, man, look at that mount I did myself. That's the most rewarding thing to me 
is showing everybody what I did myself. It didn't cost me nothing other than the materials. And I did it. I'm gonna brag on it myself that I did it and I didn't have to get nobody else to do it for me. So these little pieces, just seal them up real quick. Ain't nothing to it. Now, make sure you set a set that's got a notch in it. So this one doesn't have a notch. This one don't have a notch. This one's got a notch in it now. No, I didn't burn that side. This one's got a notch in it. And this other one's got a notch in it. So I'm gonna got a pair here. Take this one. And I got a pair here. So we're gonna make sure we set them aside. One with a notch, one without a notch. That's a pair. One with a notch, one without a notch. That's a pair. Now, let me go over here and grab this other board and show y'all the two differences. This one, hold on, let me touch the camera so I can see. This one's a little darker, this one's lighter. Tell me that ain't some good looking wood. Man, I just love the way these look. So there you guys have it for part two. It's gonna be preparing the boards to get mounted. So, part one, we prepped our antler. I'll show you the same one we did yesterday. We cleaned it up, made it look all good. This is the board we're gonna use. So part two is preparing the board. Man, guys, look at that. Does that just not look good? Man, hanging on your living room wall, or your kid's bedroom wall, or your workshop wall, or anywhere. I'm excited to get this to them. So next step will be securing these two together and showing you how I do it. I like it where you can't see any of the screws. So I show you this 10 point I shot. We're gonna show you how to drill the hole, screw it together, how we mounted it. And man, this thing's secure. I haven't had these come off at all. This one right here has been hanging on my kitchen wall for, geez, we've been married seven years. So me and my wife have had this hanging on the wall for seven years. I mounted it that year we killed it. And I've been doing it myself ever since. So it hasn't come off. I'm not worried about it. It's very secure. You guys can trust it. It's not going to come off. So there you guys have it. Part one was there. Part two is prepping the board and getting it ready to mount the antlers. And part three will be mounting the antlers. So until next time, guys, I'll see you on the farm.